baby loves, today I have a really, really, really fun video for you. Every one of you has probably already seen the whole trying on eBay, Amazon, cheap prom dress video. I did one myself. If you want to check it out, I will link it down below. But since it's not really prom season anymore, I wanted to take it kind of one step further and try out some Amazon bathing suits. All of these were really, really, really inexpensive. I will flash up the prices that I paid as I try them on. This is really just for entertainment purposes. I don't know if any of these will be really nice. Well, actually, I already, spoiler alert, am wearing one, and I don't hate it if we're being totally honest. You guys know that I love swimwear. I love bikinis, especially being a plus-size woman. Wearing a bikini, wearing a swimsuit has always been a very empowering thing for me. It's always been an act of self-love, and so I'm really excited to share all of these with you guys today. It's kind of a haul, kind of a try-on, kind of like a, I guess we'll see what happens, question mark. But yeah, without any further ado, let's get into into the video. So the first one I'm currently wearing, um, when I saw it, I don't know what I was expecting. You know how the whole rose embroidery thing is in right now? I saw this and I was like, oh, it's gonna be like embroidered with roses. Why is that such a tongue twister? I just did like five takes trying to say that and I still feel like it sounds wrong. But it's actually just screen printed on. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell. It's just like a design on the actual swimsuit, but I really like this on. I will say I'm quite small chested and all of these kind of came like as one piece, so it wasn't like you bought the top and the bottom separately, you got to choose separate sizes, everything came as one. And my top half is not as proportionate as my bottom half, but this one just seems like it has a ton of stretch. I also just realized it came untied and that's why it wasn't sitting very well anymore. <laughs> But it has that high halter tie up here. It has the rose embroidery and then the bottoms, I guess I'll just show you. They're just high-waisted black bottoms with the same rose print all over them. And I just think that they're really cute. As you can probably tell, it's like two separate shades of black. It's like this back half is blacker and then this front half is more almost like it has like a film over it or something, but I think the whole thing is pretty cute, not gonna lie. I, like I said already, spoiler alert, really like this bathing suit a lot. I actually dropped my phone on my face trying to post an Instagram photo in it, so goals. I think it's really pretty. Um, I will say it's a little bit cheeky in the back. There's a, there, there's a lot of that, but it is really, really flattering in my opinion. It comes up to a nice height. This is cute, at least in my opinion. I think just everything hits at a good point. It's really cute. I feel like it would be sturdy enough to last in the water. Um, some of these don't feel that way to me. Some of these feel like they're just clothing that they called a bathing suit, and it's not a bathing suit. Whereas this, I think you'd probably get in the water and be totally fine. Yay! I think this is my favorite so far. I really like the roses. I'm really into that trend. It's really cute and it's cheap AF. This next one I was so intrigued by, I bought two of it, uh, one in each color. The first one that I saw and was immediately attracted to was this army green sort of shade. It's like this really pretty crisscrossy top. Um, it has really nice thick straps and it looks like it would actually provide a lot of coverage. I'm not even sure how they go on. They have a little tie as well that just sort of slips around you. I think you're supposed to like crisscross it and have it around you so it just looks like it's a one piece but it's totally strappy all the way down it's actually really really cool the effect of it was really neat and this one was so 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 cheap i will say i can see how cheap it is in some places like there's a little bit of like threading that is fraying already and i just got it out of the package it feels very thin in its material, but if you're someone like me who wears bikinis like once or twice, I'm constantly on the hunt for new ones, then that probably isn't a huge deal because it's not like you're going to want to wear it a million and ten times. I think a lot of clothing is really like what you pay for is what you get. Like if you're someone who wants to be trendy, if you're someone who only wants to wear things a couple of times, then a lot of the times going with something like a $10 bathing suit is totally fine. And then if you want to wear something a million and ten times, you might want to spend more money. But then there's things like Forever 21 where I've had shirts from them since high school and they still are in great shape. So who knows? But just general rule of thumb, I mean, if you like trendier pieces, this is definitely interesting. I cannot wait to see what it looks like on. So the entire thing with this swimsuit, number one, it absolutely gets the award for hardest to get into. The top I think is actually really cute and I would totally pair this with one of my just basic back black bottoms, but I don't think that I would wear this as a whole again. I don't really like the crisscross right here. Like, I think that maybe it'd be flattering on a different body type, but obviously, like, I've got a lot going on in the hip area, and I just, I don't think that it hits me at the most flattering point. I think 
for me personally, I wouldn't wear it like this, but still the top, like for the price of the bathing suit, the top is so, so, so cute. Like I just think is really adorable. Hits at a great point. Might even wear it as a crop top, who knows. But I liked it so much that when I saw it in this beautiful, beautiful burgundy shade, I had to have it. I actually think this is gonna look really pretty with my darker hair at the moment. I just, I can't wait to see this. It looks like such a bombshell color. The cross on this one is the same, so like it crosses around you, makes it look like it's a one piece, but just really strappy. I don't know, this one looks a little bit smaller. I ordered them in the same size, am I crazy? Oh, it looks a little bit smaller, that's so weird. But maybe it'll stretch out. I guess we'll see once it's on. That'll be the true test, but here's the top. So pretty, I'm obsessed and I can't wait. So, same suit, same size, so much smaller. I mean, like everything is smaller. The top is smaller, the bottoms are smaller. I mean, to the point where I would never wear this one out. Um, it just, it doesn't do great things. I'm not very happy with it. So, I don't know, maybe it's one of those things where the colors kind of vary. I like the green one better and I don't like the green one very much, so that's not. It's not saying a whole lot, but I mean, it's still cute. Like I still like the top, I still like the fit. It just doesn't fit, obviously. This is really, really cute and the bottoms are super high-waisted. It has this really beautiful print all over it, just in like different colors of palm trees and then right at the hips, it's got a little bit of striping. Sometimes those designs right at the hips can be super flattering and make you look a little bit curvier or a little bit slimmer depending on how it's positioned. This really will highlight the hip area, but sort of slim you through the middle, which is pretty cool. But yeah, they have a ton of coverage. They're really nice and stretchy, so I'm like, Super duper excited. I, I don't know what you're supposed to see through my arm, but yeah, the bottoms are really cool But then the top is kind of like basic but sporty but cute um, It just has as you can see like a sports bra sort of feel I love that all of these come with like a good bit of padding too Not like crazy hard padding or anything like that Not like when you go to Victoria's Secret or I guess when you did they kind of don't do swimwear anymore Victoria's Secret was killed in 2002 and replaced by a clone a conspiracy theory thread It has like a little bit of racer back too um, but yeah, I think it's cute and I can't wait to try it on. I don't know. It's not usually my style. Like normally, um, I will say a lot of this isn't really well. The next one I have is definitely my style, but I definitely went a little bit outside of my comfort zone. There are a lot of crazy prints and colors and stuff like that on Amazon. It seems like, um, through these kind of wholesale places. So I just had to be a little bit more daring for once in my life. This one fits really, 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 really well. Now granted, for every single one of these, I should have said this earlier, I was following the size charts and not ordering what I would normally order. So a lot of them, it's like Chinese sizing, which can be two sizes smaller than US sizing. So I was following all of their size charts to get the most accurate fit. This one is pretty accurate because it actually covers perfectly in back. It's a really nice high cut in the back. The top fits really well, which I'm kind of surprised about because Again, usually with sizing like this, it's a little bit too big, but it fits really well. I really like it. It's more of like an athletic sort of fit, so I feel, um, once again with this one, you could easily get in and out of the water. The material definitely feels water repellent, obviously. Um, I think with those ones earlier that were like crisscrossy, those just felt like they were made out of cotton. This one feels like a bathing suit. So yeah, I would feel totally comfortable doing whatever in this, and I think it's pretty cute. And I like the print a lot, so. Yay! This one did not really look like my style once again, but I thought that there would probably be someone out there that would see this and think like it was the cutest thing they'd ever seen. And I do think it looked so flattering and now that I have it here, I think it's gonna be really flattering on. The chest, as you can see, is just a bandeau, but it does come with straps so you can tie it around. It's gonna throw my coloring off like crazy, sorry. But then it has rebels all over it. So I feel like it would really balance out the top, like give you a fuller bust effect, which is really great. The bottoms are like all stripey and stuff like that. So how, how do these, okay, there we go. 24 year old doesn't know how to hold up clothing. A conspiracy theory thread. The bottoms are really stripey and cute and they have a bit of ruching here at the sides. So I feel like it's going to like really make you look tiny, tiny, tiny at the waist, like very, very slim in there, which, you know, like obviously there are different body shapes everywhere. That doesn't have to be anyone's desired look, but having that sort of hourglass shape that this is going to create with the fuller bust and then the small waist and then the fuller hips with the stripes and stuff, I think that if you are into that look, it's going to be very obvious with this. So that's pretty cool. I really, really like this suit 
for that reason, but once again, like looking at it together, it doesn't seem like something I would normally gravitate towards. Currently I'm pretty tan because of fake tanner, but the neon shade really makes it pop, so I think this will look really good on tanner skin tones or even make fairer skin tones look like they have more color. I think it's really, really cute. I mean, overall, just it fits well. Again, the sizing was really, really on point with this. I like the coverage a lot. I think it's quite modest. And just everything about it, I think, is really great. I was gonna hold up this one after I did like the strappy ones, the army green color and then that burgundy. And then I thought I would do one more that wasn't necessarily my style, but like, I die. It's so cute. It's like purple and pink and blue and it has little pearls at the side. I'm obsessed. I'm literally so obsessed. So high-waisted bottoms like so. And then the top, I, I mean the top is incredible. So this is from a brand called Kupshi. Um, Kupshi, I'm not sure. It's called the Cheeky Gal Style. The top feels like a Victoria's Secret top. If you know what I'm talking about, their tops used to have that padding in the bombshell bikinis that would literally push your chest up to like your face. If you're someone like me, again, who didn't have a lot of lift, who didn't have a ton of boob, it was amazing. And then this top is shaped exactly like this, but it was so, so inexpensive. It has like this little heart detail in the middle. And then the tie is just freaking precious. It has a little bit of material right there, but it's mostly like pearl all the way up. And I. I'm done. I'm finished. Put a fork in me. This one is obviously my favorite. Why would it not be my favorite? It is tie-dye, it is pastel, it is mermaid. The top is a little bit small, which I'm honestly kind of rooted out by. Um, if you can come in, I said originally that this bottom half was all this pearl, and I'm stupid, and I realize now it's actually just pearl, like, strung on a string. Same thing with the bottoms, but overall I think it's so cute. I love the fit of it so much. I think that again, this one you could get in the water in, probably run around for the day in, and it's just so, so, so pretty in my opinion. It looks like it costs way more money than it did, and that's great. The air kicked on here at the very end. I just turned it off, I'm really, really sorry, but we are almost done. This last bikini, again, very out of my comfort zone, but I think that the top is so cool. I'm not normally like a mix and match sort of gal, but these came together like so. So I guess I just have to try it on and be brave. The top looks really nice and very well made. It just has little straps, very like retro in its style. I will say the cups look pretty big for this size for me, which I haven't experienced so far, but like that just looks like it's gonna be a bit large. The pattern itself is so pretty though. Like really, really, really pretty. Um, and I would totally stuff it for the sake of wearing it to the beach. Can you imagine like stuffing your bathing suit with tissue paper and then you get to the beach and get in the water and it's just like a mess? It also comes down a little bit lower, which um, I've noticed a lot of these tops don't. That's a style I usually see in plus size bathing suits. So it's been nice to see something a little bit different, but this is definitely um, one that kind of hits you a little bit lower at the waist, probably provides a bit more coverage if you are a bit larger chested. This is probably gonna be a good swimsuit for you. And then the bottoms, again, are very, <laughs> Why can't I hold these upright? They're very, very generous, it seems, in terms of the height. It has a lot of ruching on the sides, and there's a ton of stretch. So again, a little bit wild for me, but I'm sure that there is someone who, like, this is gonna be their go-to, and I'm not knocking it till I try it. I can't wait to see what it looks like on. Okay, so this last one, actually the top is not as small, or a, it's not as big as I thought it would be. The clasp and back is kind of strange. It doesn't feel the most secure. I want to play clasping it before I put it on, but other than that, I think it's really nice. And I say that, but then like you can see, it sort of just wraps all the way around like so. So do you see how the clasp and back, like it's literally just sitting against itself. It doesn't like click in anywhere. It doesn't like buckle or anything like that. It's literally just sort of sitting there. I don't know if that makes any sense. So, but I mean the actual bathing suit, you put on like a tube top first and then that's just for a little bit more support. So. I think it's fine, and then the bottoms are actually pretty cute. I don't know how I feel about this bathing suit being so mismatched. I like the top, I like the bottoms, but I don't know if I like them together necessarily. And actually, like all of the suits that were under this listing were like this. They were really mismatched. So I think it'd be cuter even if they just like matched, you know, but it's just not really my style. I think it is cute though, and I love the top, and I'll use that with other top, other bottoms, and I'll use this with other tops, so it works out for the best. All right, guys, that is actually it for this video. I am coincidentally going to Santa Monica, and I'm going to pick one of these to wear there, and I haven't decided which one yet. Honestly, I'm really leaning towards this bad guy, but I also really like this one, but I also really like all of them, so I, I don't know. 
I don't know. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and being part of our family. If you are not already part of our Lit AF fam, hit the subscribe button and then comment down below so we can all welcome you to the clan. I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.